In this lesson, we're going to spend some more time working with reports. I'm going to show you how to build a report from scratch without using a wizard. We're going to also show you how to build mailing labels for people who aren't missing address data. In Access 101, we built this Mailing Labels R, a report to generate mailing labels off of our customers. Now in Access 101, all of our customers had address data. But what if some of them were missing addresses or zip codes? You might want to exclude them from your mailing labels. Well, let's see how we can correct that. First, let's cheat. Let's go into our customer table. And let's take a couple of our customers and get rid of some of their address data. Let's get rid of this guy's address and this guy's state and this person's zip code. I've got to break it so I can show you how to fix it. All right? Okay. Let's close our customer table. Now, obviously, if you're going to generate mailing labels, you're not going to want to make labels up to the people who are missing address data. So let's make a query that will only show us people who have full addresses. And we can use this query to generate our mailing label reports. So let's go to Queries, and then New, Design View, of course, and then OK. Notice this time when I go to Add Tables to my query, I've got a Customer Table and an Employee Table. Well, let's pick just Customer Table, and then click on Add, and then Close. Now for mailing labels, let's bring in the things we need. So we need first name, last name. I'll skip company name for now. Let's bring in address, city, state, and zip. Let's bring in country too. Now if I run my query, here's all my data, but here's the people that are missing information. Address is blank. This guy's state is blank. So I don't want to show records where I'm missing information. Let's go back to Design View. Now let's tackle these fields one at a time. If I want to show a list of all my customers that have an address, in other words, the address is not empty, or a special word we use in Access called null, I can say is not null here in the criteria for address is not null. That means that the address field isn't blank. Let's go ahead and run the query now. And notice the guy with the missing address is gone. This will ensure that I'll see only people that have addresses. We can do the same thing for city, state, and zip. Let's go back to design. And here we are. Now, I don't want to retype this whole thing, so I'm going to copy and paste it. I'm going to highlight is not null. Copy, control C on my keyboard. City, I'll paste it in, control V. State, control V. Zip, control V. And country can be blank. But remember now, going across in the criteria row is an and condition. So now I'm only going to see people who have an address and have a city and have a state, and have a zip code. None of these can be blank. Let's run the query and see what we get. And there we go. I've got four customers with full addresses. They're not missing an address, or a city, or a state, or a zip. Let's save this query. Save. I'm going to call it Customers with Full Address Q, and then click on OK. Now, the opposite might be true as well. You might want to see a list of all the customers who are missing some address data. Maybe you want to print out a report of all the people who are missing information and give it to your secretary, and have him or her call these customers to fill in the missing blanks. So let's make another query very similar that's going to show us only the customers that have missing address data. One or more of those fields are blank. So again, queries and then new, design view, 
Okay. Let's bring in our customer table. And again, last name, first name, address, city, state, and zip. We'll skip country this time. Now, if I want to see customers where the address field is null, let's come down here under criteria and type in is null. Right, the address is null. Let's see what we get. Let's run the query. And there we go. Now, I'm only seeing Sue Jones. Sue Jones has an address. I'm sorry, she has no address, but she has a city, she has a state, and she has a zip code. But I know I've got other people in here that are missing data. Well, we only specified address for being no, right? All right, let's go back into Design View and work on the city, state, and zip. Design View. Now here's the problem. If I put is null here, what's going to happen is I'm going to only see customers where the address is null and the city is null. Remember, it's an and condition going across. So what do I have to do? I have to put is null down a row. Remember that or condition, right? It's and across or down. That's why we got the or over here. So now I'm going to see all the customers where the address is null or the city is null. Let's save it and run it. Let's save this query as customers with missing data. Right, customers with missing data. Now hit OK. And let's run the query. And there we go. Now I've got Sue Jones missing an address and Donald Barker missing a city. Either the address is blank or the city is blank. And we can do the same thing for state and zip. We just need to utilize these OR rows, right? Is null there. Come down another row, is null there. And now I should see all the customers where either the address is null or the city is null or the state is null or the zip is null. Let's save it and run it and see what we get. Save it and run it. And there we go. There's everyone who's missing any of their address data. So there should be another good example of how that OR situation works in the queries. And now that we've got our queries all set here, we've got our customers with full address, and we've got our customers with missing data, we're all set to put together two reports. The first report I want to build is a new mailing label report using the mailing label wizard that is based off of our customers with full address. If I'm going to be sending out mailing labels, I only want to send them out to people who I have full addresses for. The second report I want to build is a standard report that I can print out and hand to my secretary and have them go through and call the customers that are missing address data. Well, let's start off with the first one. Now, this should be easy. We did it in the last class. This is a good review. Reports, new, label wizard, and this time, let's pick our customers with full address queue. Again, we can make reports and forms off queries as well as tables. OK. We've got our Avery 5160 labels selected. Let's go to Next. The default font is fine. Let's pick Next again. Our prototype label, first name, space, last name, enter, address, enter, city, space, state, space, zip, space, country. Next, we'll sort by zip code. Next, what name do we want for the report? How about customers with full address, Q. 
and then finish. And there we go. Notice now I only have three addresses, but at least these three addresses are full and complete addresses. I'm not missing any information. Let's go ahead and close that now. All right, now I want to make up a report to give to the secretary so she can go down and contact all the customers that are missing part of their addresses. This time, however, let's not use a report wizard. Let's build the report from scratch. Now, building a report is very similar to the way you build a form. Not hard to do at all. Let's go to reports and then new. And just like we're making a form, let's pick design view. And let's pick our customers with missing data queue. The customers with missing data. Let's hit OK. And here we are inside a blank report. Now you should see here that it looks very similar to a form, except that it's got two extra sections. It has this page header and a page footer section. These sections will appear at the top and bottom of each page, page header, page footer, kind of like in Microsoft Word. For now, here's our field list. And again, if you don't have your field list, it's right up here on the toolbar, just like building a form. All we have to do is highlight these fields, click and drag, and drop them into our report, just like we did with our form. Now I'm going to shut off the field list. And I'm going to make this a little bit taller so I've got a little bit more space. Let's save our report. Let's hit the Save button here. I'm going to save this as Customers with Missing Data R for reports. Hit OK. Let's close it down and then open it up. And there we go. There's our report. And if you click in here, you'll see that we have customers that are missing data. This person is missing an address. I'll scroll down. This person is missing a state, and so on. And now the secretary can go through all these people, call them up, and get their other information. Let's go ahead and close this report. And that's how you build a report from scratch. Now, there's a whole lot more you can do with reports. That's only scratching the surface again. And in a future lesson, we'll go over a lot more detail with reporting. But for today, I wanted to show you how we can build some queries to limit our data and then make reports off of those queries.